number one. This happened about four years ago when I was still in high school. I was told to do my last delivery, so I got in my old car and headed out. I live upstate in the country, so all pizza deliveries were a long drive. I remember the sun was setting, so I'd say it was about 7 o'clock. After about 15 minutes of driving, I finally got there. It was a very old house made completely of wood. It was sitting all by itself surrounded by thick forest. The lawn was completely unkept. Now, I was used to all this, so I didn't think anything of it. I took the pizza and walked to the front door. Now, there was no knob, so I knocked, yelling, Pizza guy! No answer. So I knocked again and repeated. Suddenly I heard footsteps coming from inside, heading towards the door. But they didn't open the door, they just stood there. I yelled again, Pizza guy! A low voice said from beyond the door, Hey, just bring it around back of the house. I was reluctant. I asked him, are you sure? No answer. I was about to walk back to the car, but I didn't want to have a problem with my boss. Last time I brought a pizza back, I was almost fired. So, reluctantly, I made my way to the back of the house through the bush, treading lightly. I came across a figure of someone sitting in a chair in my opposite direction, sitting on the porch staring off into the distance. Excuse me, I have your pizza? But it didn't move or talk. Right then I heard a voice coming from the door just past the silent figure. Psst, hey, over here. I look in the direction of the whisper, and I see a man poking his head through the door. He had this weird, unnatural smile as if he knew something that I didn't. He said, Hey, come here. I want to show you something. I was so scared. I ran back to my car and drove away. As soon as I got back into the town, I called the police. I got a call back from the cops, who wanted to inform me that there was no one in the house, nor was there any signs of anyone being there for a very long time. I quit my job a few days later. I have no idea what would have happened to me if I had went up to that man. And I don't want to know. Number 2 I was doing a nighttime delivery in a very rural part of town. This night was very foggy with poor visibility, which was rare for this time of year. As I was driving down a dirt road, I see this man jump in front of my car. I feel an impact in front of my bumper and I screech to a stop, getting out of my car as fast as I can. The man was on the ground in front of my car. He was motionless, and he was wearing all black with a hoodie covering his head. As I was about to bend down to touch him, I heard a voice coming from inside the woods crying for help. I turned around without a second's thought and I ran into the woods towards the direction of the scream. I yelled out, Hello? Anyone there? Complete silence followed. Only the sounds of the crickets. And suddenly I get this horrible feeling that I'm being watched. And suddenly I see a shadowy figure, just about ten feet away from me, hiding behind a tree. I yell out, Hey, are you okay? But nothing. The figure just stands there now, in front of the tree, as if it had been staring at me for hours. I got so scared. I ran back into the direction of my car. When I got there, the man that had been laying on the ground was gone. I hopped in my car and drove away, still deciding to deliver the pizza anyway. I put in the address and head toward it. I was shaken, but just glad I got out of there. I walk up to the door and hand the lady her pizza. As I'm giving her her change, she looks past me in the direction of my car, saying, They let you guys have pizza delivery partners now? I was confused and asked her what she meant. She said, you have somebody with you sitting in your car. I look back and, sure enough, I see somebody sitting in the back seat of my car. I called the cops from the customer's house phone and they arrived shortly after. But the person that was in my car was gone already. The scariest thing about this whole situation was that the cops found a bloodied knife in the back seat of my car. I am haunted by this event every day. 
I can genuinely tell you it is painfully scary to imagine just how different things could have gone if I hadn't delivered that pizza. Hey, Midnight Sweeper here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, why not hit the like button and give it a share on Facebook or Twitter. Or better yet, hit that big red subscribe button and keep coming back for more. And I'll see you around the campfire.